Hey everybody, this is Crystal with Crystal Diversa Creations. So I'm doing some shot glasses today. And so here they are. And I actually have to do 15 of them. And so I figured I would bring you along. I'm going to do 15 of these. And then he has the matching um, t-shirt. Um, it's for a, a classmate of mine. Uh, he and I went to... Wait, 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 wait for it. Penn State together. I actually didn't even realize I had this one today. And um, so his wife ordered um, some shot glasses and a shirt. So since I have to do 15, I figured, you know what? Let's do them together. So I'm going to move over to the table. So um, I'm actually doing these in um, Cricut Design Space. And I wanted to show you the size. So I did them 1.25. Uh, by 1.43 so that's the total um, design so um, I just kind of married them up but the whole image itself is 1.25 by 1.473 um, and so I did them only in like sixes because I figured I could be weeding some of them while the rest are printing as opposed to just waiting for a long print so so here's the design. It's not too small. Um, so I actually like to take out the inside lines before I take the whole image out. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed these. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe the glass down. Um, with a little bit of alcohol and get it nice and clean. And oh, by the way, these are actually um, the dessert glasses that come from Dollar Tree. So you get three in a pack for a dollar, which isn't a bad deal at all. And then you have your... Um, clear transparency paper and I actually just get the roll of the clear paper from the Dollar Tree because I like the amount of stickiness that it has. Take your paper and just cover your image, flatten it out, get some type of credit card or if you have a uh, um, Cricut um, thing to smooth it out, use that. Just make sure you get in your whole design on there and then just make sure that when you peel it you're peeling the whole image go back for it if you don't sometimes you gotta push this down to make sure that it all comes off get it do you have it and then I'm just gonna look at this one. So I know roughly where to put it. That's about right. And then basically, I always try to start in the middle, just moving out in the center. And then do one side. And then go around to the other. Don't make the design so large that it goes all the way around. You kind of just want it centered. So I gave you the dimensions. I think it was 1.25 this way and like 1.43 on that side. Just kind of go over it. Not too hard, but you want to make sure that it adheres well. And just peel it off, and there you have it. So, hope that helps. This is just a quick little um, tutorial, just showing you real quickly how you do the um, shot glasses. So, again, I have to do um, 15 of them, and then a matching t shirt. And um, it's a real quick something if you're doing something for a guy, it's a quick, easy um, little upsell. 
So you can add some shot glasses. You can sell these anywhere from, I don't know, five to like seven, eight bucks. So that's not bad when you're getting them um, three for a dollar. The only thing I would advise is to make sure that you don't make the, the, um, the image or whatever too intricate because then it becomes harder to weed. Like actually, I like this space out of there because that's how it was on the original design, but I really could have just made that all one sort of been easier um, to weed. And then you definitely want like a bolder, thicker font. So it's really easy when you go to um, pull it away from the name. So hope that helps. Like and subscribe. Thank you. So now I have um, all five of these weeded out. Okay, so we have all of the, well, not all of them, but five of the names. So we put the name down, scrape it nicely, get a good adhesive, but not too much. And then just make sure that it's all picking up. Kind of look at your last one to see roughly where did you have that. It looks like this 55 is hitting about right there. So I put it on there. When I put it on, I tried to get the center first. Yep, that's roughly the same. Then I kind of just smooth the center. Then I do one side. And then I do the other side. And then I go back over it gently with the scraper. Making sure we get it, but don't scrape up the letters. Then you're making sure that nothing is pulling off when you're pulling that away. There you have it. So, got to do, what's this, 13 more. So, I hope this helps. Um, like or subscribe. And um, you can do the same application if you were doing a glass, if you were doing a um, beer mug or anything like that. So it's just very simple. I would advise that you keep your design um, very simple. Um, I could have even left out this um, center because I got to go in there and get that line out. I could have just had it like that, but it kind of matched the shirt that he's going to be wearing. But... Um, you kind of want to keep it simple and you definitely want a thick font um, on your glass because if not, it gets to be a challenge trying to get it off and it's so small um, off the paper. So I hope this helped. Um, like or subscribe and I'll see you soon. Take care.